Hey Nicole, you better get out here and pick these asparagus. I know you don't like it when they get bigger than 10 inches. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Garden State Growing. Once again, my name is Eric, and that right there is reason 937 why my wife hates my guts. Um, please uh, don't be distracted by the dogs. I know there's a lot of people that comment and say, why do I have to look at the dogs? Or why do I have to you know, hear the dogs constantly playing in the background? Well, the same reason why when visitors come to my house, I let them know, no, I'm not gonna put my dog in the backyard. No, I'm not gonna chain them up or cage them. They are a member of this family. And if you do not like being around my dog, you don't have to come to my house. It's that simple. If you don't like having dogs playing in the background, you don't have to watch this video. I love it. My next door neighbor's just got a brand new puppy. My dog is happy. That dog is five months old. My puppy is, you know, five years old. Anyway, <clears throat> rant over. So let's get back to asparagus. And I'm not going to, believe it or not, get into it that much. You want to know why? Because I just went to refresh my memory on the asparagus videos that I shot last year and I will put those links in the description below. That we were very informative. So here we are sitting in front of my asparagus bed. I planted, I believe it was Jersey Night and Purple Supreme or Purple Night and Jersey Supreme. I, I can't remember. But anyway, there is a lot of different growth in here and people want to know when can you start harvesting asparagus now last year when i planted these crowns i did not pick any of them at all matter of fact i'll show you pictures of really thin spindly asparagus that are coming up i wouldn't even dare pick them they're way too young and then i have these uh, big gigantic stalks that are like almost two feet high that I was like oh my god how did I not get out here in time well when asparagus starts coming up they start coming up pretty hard <laughs> you know so I have this beautiful mixture of these purple and green asparagus and then up front where it turns into my strawberry bed I did plant some Mary Washington's last year and I don't know if they survived the winter. So if you wanna learn about planting asparagus, again, go back to that video. It talks all about the difference between planting crowns or, or planting seeds uh, and what the difference is. So you could do the, the, you know, the dig the hole and just stick it in the ground method. Or you could do the trench method like I do. I do the trench method because it works out just better for me and uh, I've been doing it for years and I see absolutely no reason why to change it. I mean, if there was an experiment out there that I thought would make these grow any better than they are doing right now, now remember, this is only my second year with this bed of asparagus and I've already collected two big handfuls. I will put those pictures up there and um, I've been loving every minute of it. So why don't we get down in the dirt and I'll bring you in close and I'll show you what I'm going to harvest and what I'm not going to harvest on the second year of this bed. Oh, did I mention it's only April right now? April 20th to be exact. And uh, this is the type of harvest I'm already getting on my second year. So at the end of my first year, I had not collected any asparagus. They were all very thin and very spindly and not worth me collecting. I would rather let them grow and try to put as much nutrition into the root system as I could and establish themselves. Now in the fall, there's that big question, do I cut it all down or do I don't? And again, I cover this in that other video that I did last year. For me, no, I just let them die off. And they all just kind of fell down and they turned into this great pile of mulch that was going to protect the roots over the winter. But then I did go and I put a big layer of uh, easy straw. I mentioned it a lot in a lot of my other videos. So if you want to know more about easy straw, you're just gonna have to search some of my other videos, uh, especially if you look at the when I put the asparagus to bed video linked in the description below. 
So I did put this big layer of uh, straw down and it was plus and minus. One, it protected them over winter. Plus, that was excellent. Two, it helped conserve moisture. Excellent. Plus, help control weeds. Excellent. Plus, and then the negative. People go, well, it makes your asparagus kind of curly. I'm not trying to sell this in a grocery store to a bunch of uppity people. I eat this. I don't care if it's curly. I mean, how curly is it? But anyway, when I bring you down and I bring you in, I'll show you it. Whatever. <laughs> God, you gotta love the American people. Oh, the ready and the ready and the ripe asparagus plant. Oh, that's the size I'm looking for right there. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm down on the ground and we are looking at my asparagus plants right now. And as you can see, no, this is not a joke. That is a very, very, very thin and spindly asparagus plant. So at this point, there is absolutely no reason to collect anything that is here in this part of the garden. Now, we can just keep on going along and see, well, what maybe we can harvest. Now, see, here's one of my purple asparagus. And as you can see, it's not doing as great as some of the other ones. It doesn't have a lot of offshoots. Uh, it would be a very tender, but very short asparagus. Not worth it. So let's move on. Now we have this group of asparagus that's growing in the back. And as you can see from this one in the front, it has grown really well. But then there is a bunch of spindly ones in the back. And I'm just going to let them grow forever. They're not worth harvesting. They don't have much on them. And they're just going to feed more nutrients back into the roots, help to establish them better, and then have more asparagus next year. So I am going to harvest this big one, and I'll harvest it down here. There's no reason to leave a big upper shoot, but I probably won't eat it all right so this is approximately an 18 inch long asparagus i will not eat this whole thing uh i will probably cut it to about here i don't know i'll test it i'll i'll, I'll cut it long and keep on coming back one good thing about garden asparagus is they don't get really pithy or woody really early so then i have this beautiful majestic purple whatever asparagus it's already starting to open up its flowers which is uh letting me know it's ready to go to seed soon now if i saw this was coming up and it was five other shoots coming up alongside of it i would take this down and i would eat it and it would be fantastic starting to bloom or not uh, but all i see is one here and one here and another one over here and i'm not exactly sure where the rootstock is being fed from so i'm not going to take either one of those then i get to some smaller thin spindly ones of course i'm not going to take them and then in the back i have a couple that i think i'm actually going to take so let's get there there's three very good looking ones and I think I'm going to take this very tall one and uh, and this medium sized one because I still have a really nice one growing right there from that. All right, so I think you get the point. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go and pick the rest of these asparagus and let's see what we get at the end remember this is only half a bed so it's only six by four uh 24 square feet and let's see the asparagus that i get it's my third harvest already for 2021 so let's see what i get okay guys so not bad not bad not bad for only second year third harvest 24 square feet i mean some of these are pretty long I would imagine they're probably not getting enough sunlight that they probably should have. Um, but that's okay. They're doing fine right here. Uh, especially right next to the strawberry bed. Uh, I would surmise this is about, I don't know, half a pound of, uh, of asparagus. 
what do they go for? I don't know, $5.99 or something like that. It, but it doesn't matter. So now, like, here we have uh, uh, these really long ones, okay? And uh, people say, oh, my God, they're going to be so witty that long. Let, let's find out because they are only pencil thin. Super woody. <laughs> Not even worth eating. So let's go up to the natural line of the break. Yeah, much better. If you don't know what the natural line of the break is, I don't necessarily always follow this rule. Usually I just line them all up, and give a good chop, especially to supermarket asparagus that are all the same size. But uh, a neat little trick is you can take your asparagus from like right, be right below the bud and at the end of where you cut it and it bend it and see where it broke. That's supposed to be the appropriate place to uh, cut your asparagus. Let me see. So this was on the good side and it was very good. I'm going to take a bigger bite because it might be a little bit like good there. So. It was good, but I could swallow it, but I wouldn't want to take another higher bite. It was too woody. So I have a lot of this purple asparagus. That's beautiful, big buds at top. Some of them are starting to open up. I'm sure you saw that already. And this is going to be a great meal. Now all the small spindly ones, I'm just going to leave there. I'm going to let them grow they're probably uh, just gonna grow they're not gonna get any bigger they're just gonna grow really tall and start to bush out uh, when they sprout up from the ground and you see big ones that's usually the size that you're gonna get for that season anything smaller than I would say your pinky I would not harvest huh that was a lot of information and if you go back and watch the other video that's a lot of information so take it slow uh, if you want to grow asparagus, if you want to see how fresh and delicious this asparagus is, I am going to be cooking this in an upcoming video. I hope you enjoy it and uh, I love you. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, that uh, notification bell ring-a-ding-ding. -ding, and share this with your friends, your family, anybody you think might want to know a little bit more about planting asparagus. <laughs> I'm not helping. You're about to for me. No. I call it hearing you. No! <laughs> 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 I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul.